goodbye 2020 and hello 2021. I think everybody's ready to leave last year in the dust and they're looking forward to this new year with some hope, some optimism, and they're ready to hit the reset button. Recently, I've been having more people ask me my thoughts on what I think the real estate market, the housing market's going to look like in this next year. Now, of course, no one has a crystal ball and we can't know for certain, but I've done some research and listening to housing experts and economists, and I'm gonna share those thoughts with you. And then, as we know, real estate is local, so I'm gonna put my own little Sarasota spin on all of this. Hi, I'm Jill Thomas with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Florida Realty. Each week I have a new video about the Sarasota Bradenton area and the real estate market. So be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And then if you do have any questions at all about real estate, feel free to give me a call or text me or email me. Here are my thoughts on how this year is going to look in regards to real estate and specifically in the Sarasota Bradenton area. Again, nobody has a crystal ball. We can't predict the future. Who would have thought in January of 2020 that the world would have shut down like it did in this last year, but here we are. Okay, so first, let's talk about the statistics and what's happening more on a national level, what these experts are saying. First, let's talk about interest rates. Interest rates have been obviously historically crazy insane low being under three percent in 2020. now what they're looking at for this next year is that they're going to go up a little bit but not a lot they're still going to be around that three percent mark so very doable for buyers and it's also a good thing for sellers because you've got buyers out there who can buy with such low interest rates now the next element is the price of homes in 2020 on a national average, the cost of homes went up 15.5%. Now we're gonna see an increase in 2021, but not quite as high. It's gonna be maybe around 8%. And part of that, of these increases are low inventory. So we've got low interest rates for buyers, but then not a lot of options for buyers. So low inventory, so it's gonna push those prices up. In Sarasota Manatee counties in November of 2020, uh, for a single family home, the months of inventory was like 1.6, 1.8 months. That's not a lot. A balanced buyer seller market is six months. Now, if you wanna know more about that, if these kind of things geek you out a bit more, look at episode 29 and I'll include a link uh, for that video below so you can check that out. But that's what it's all about is that inventory. So what does all of this mean? Well, like I said before, low interest rates, that's a good thing for buyers and it's actually a good thing for sellers. In our market, in this market, we have a lot of new construction, like a lot of new construction. So at least that opens up some more options for buyers. Now, the downside to some of this new construction is prices for the materials have gone up and part of that has to do with COVID and it's taking longer to get the materials. So, of course, those uh, increased in prices for materials, that gets passed along to the consumer, to the buyer. And then also you have to be a little bit more patient with waiting for that home to be built because of those delays. Real estate though is local and what's happening on a national level may not be what's happening in your backyard. So let's talk about my backyard, the Sarasota Bradenton area. I wanna give you a little bit of a feet on the street perspective. We are having people move here from all over the country. Now that's been the case prior to COVID, but now after COVID, we're seeing it even more. We got folks from New York, New Jersey, Chicago. Those are where our feeder markets before, and now we're seeing even more folks come from those areas. But why Sarasota? Well, there's several reasons why. First of all, people who maybe are working remotely now and can do their job or get a new job, but stay from home, they want a little bit more elbow room in their house and they don't wanna be as close to their neighbors. And then of course too with kids maybe working virtually with school that they need more space as well they need more room so everybody can have their own space they want a backyard maybe instead of living in a town home or an apartment or a condo so there's a lot more options here compared to the large cities up north and then for those who have discovered that they can work remotely what's great about florida is we do not have state income tax so that can be a huge huge savings to people 
And then third, another reason why people want to move here is after everything they've been through in 2020, they're reflecting on their lives, what they really want to do, where they want to be. And some people have just decided now's the time to pull the trigger, make a big change and either move to Florida permanently or buy that second home that they've always been dreaming of. Another element to the housing market here in the Sarasota Bradenton area are rentals. Rentals are huge here in this area. And there's two different types of rentals. First, we've got short-term rentals where people just come down for less than a month, whether it's for a few nights or for a week or two. I've got customers who own some condominiums on Siesta Key that allow these type of short-term rentals. And even with COVID, once things opened up again in the state of Florida, they've been rented out on a regular steady basis. So people still wanna come down here and get away. Then of course, the other type of rental is a long-term rental like more of like an annual or even a six month rental. And some of the folks I'm talking to who really want to come down here and live permanently have been talking about coming down after the first of the year and renting something for about six months or so, so they can make the best decisions for themselves and they're just not buying something really quick. So the rental demand is still very high in our area and I don't anticipate that changing anytime soon. As I've already mentioned, inventory is really, really low in our area. I have got a long list of buyers who are ready, willing, and able to buy, but the right property hasn't hit the market yet. And everybody's looking for something a little bit different. Not everybody's looking for the exact same type of property. And especially if somebody's looking at a second home, they can be patient and they'll wait for just the right place. New construction help, has helped to alleviate some of, of that pent up demand for properties. But let me talk a little bit more about the new construction in the Sarasota Bradenton area. Generally speaking, most of the new construction neighborhoods are farther east. We've got the Gulf of Mexico, which is on the west coast. We're on the west coast of Florida here. and But all these properties are farther east, so they're not as close to the beaches or not as close to the water. So often when I first talk to people from up north, they say, oh, I wanna be so close to the beach. I wanna to bike to the beach. I wanna be 10 minutes away from the beach. But unless you're considering resale, new construction near the beach is not a product that really exists in our area. So if you wanna be in the sweet spot closer to the water, closer to downtown Sarasota, you're gonna look at a resale. And those homes could even be as much as 50 or 60 years old. So it might need some cosmetic updates or you might be looking at needing to replace the roof or the AC sooner than later. So you've got to balance all of that out between the type of property you want and then the location. So it's really great when people can come down here and drive around and get themselves a little bit more familiar with some of the neighborhoods and the proximity to different things that we've got in our town. So to wrap this up, let's talk about what sellers can look forward to and buyers. Number one, sellers, with those interest rates being historically low, you've got the wonderful pool of buyers out there looking to purchase properties and that low interest rate makes it much more affordable. Also, with the inventory being really low, you really don't have a lot of competition. Now, the property still needs to be priced well, priced properly, but that's going to, um, you really don't have much competition except for new construction. And then also the prices are gonna be going up in 2021. Maybe not as much as they did in this last year, but at least they're not going backwards, they're not staying stagnant, they're gonna go up a little bit. So that's a help to you. Now for buyers, again, interest rates low, so that helps you with giving you some purchasing power. Now with the inventory being low, that can be brutal, but new construction is definitely a great option. Now let me throw in at this point a little bit about millennials or maybe some of those folks who are ready to, to purchase. Maybe they've got a solid job, good income, good credit score, but not a lot of money. With new construction, some of these properties, because they're being built farther east and in their, our area, that means it's kind of country-like, not, not really, but there's just not as much there. You're away from the beaches. Those properties are eligible for a USDA loan. And what that means to you is you can finance 100% of the purchase price. So you need less cash to get into a property. 
So that's a huge savings for you. And with the interest rates so low, financing that bit of money isn't going to up your monthly payment as much. Now you still need cash to close. It's not like it's a free process for you, but it definitely makes it much more doable and manageable. And often a lot of the builders will offer incentives to the buyers if you use their closing agent, if you use their uh, lender, but that can help bring down the cost a little bit too. And I love working with new construction. So if that's something that you might be thinking about, let me know the builders don't charge a buyer any more money for using a realtor to help with them. And so I can help you navigate that whole process. I love doing that. And I know a lot about some of the different builders and the quality of the products. So that's a really good option, a USDA loan for new construction. It's fabulous. I think a lot of us have gotten to the point now where we're not waiting for things to go back to normal, but we're learning to embrace that all of this has now become our new normal. And that's why folks are getting off the fence and deciding maybe to move here or buy that dream second home here in the Sunshine State. And so that's what's really impacted a lot of these decisions. Again, don't hesitate to give me a call, text me, email me. I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. I'm here to help you. <laughs> okay, again, please subscribe to my video. I appreciate it. Carly appreciates it. Right, girl? She slept the whole time. She was a good girl. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching.